Well, I mean, that's a really good question. It goes back to um, how I kind of envisioned the clinic in the first place. Because remember, I was a school psychologist, mm -hmm. and, and all I ever did was psychoeducational assessments. That's all I ever did. And why did I do them? Well, because they had to be labeled. The child had to be labeled so that they could get access to any kind of service, which generally meant, you know, the resource room placement. So there's a tremendous amount of uh, resource, you know, resources poured into that child. But when you look at the outcome of all that, you say, well, you know, my experience was, you know, I saw kids going into resource rooms in grade two, and then they were graduating in grade 12 with mm -hmm. pretty much the same kind of level that they had in grade two. Do, do, does it make sense? So there's no progress with that, yeah. that system whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So what we do at first is we don't work from labels. I guess that's the way to put it in my mind. Right. I'm, not interested in, I'm not interested in diagnosing. Mm -hmm. A lot of the kids who come here already have a diagnosis of dyslexia or learning disability. Mm -hmm. To me, that's not relevant because their problems lie on a continuum. Okay, the child who is dyslexic has the same problem as the, as the mildly delayed uh, reader. Mm -hmm. It's just on a continuum. You know, that child scores are way over here. The other guy is over here. So this guy can reach this guy's level with teaching instruction mm -hmm. of, of X number of hours. And we have a pretty good metric now to tell us how many hours it's going to take, yeah? Because your child initially, for whatever reason, was not able to perform these phonemic tasks. Mm -hmm. They couldn't segment a word into sounds. And then the opposite, they couldn't blend sounds into words. Okay, so we measure those two activities mm -hmm. in, our, in our assessments when we work with children first, just to see how basic, those two basic skills are, are performed. Mm -hmm. So the, the segmenting and then the blending, mm -hmm. if, I, if I give you some sounds, can you tell me what the word is? If you can't do it with sounds, how are you gonna do it with letters that represent the sound? You assess an adult and they can't tell you what the sounds are in a, in a word like, like blast. It's like unbelievable that they cannot do that, but they can't. It's surprisingly it's, difficult. Yeah. So those phonemic skills do not develop over time. That's the other mm -hmm. thing that the studies have shown us, is that they don't grow out of this. If that phonemic skill is weak when they're in grade one, it's likely to remain weak when they're 15 years old and when they're adults, unless it's taught. That's the whole thing. So it was important to me to, to get across the point that it doesn't matter if your child has this label, it is, it is not an impediment because they still need the same kind of instruction. They just need more of it. Right. Does that make sense? Absolutely. They just need more of it. Mm -hmm. That's a, a, such a key, simple thing, but yet that's exactly what all, um, mm -hmm. my studies have shown uh, you know, over, over the last, mm -hmm. well, well the, the data over the last 30 years.